The Sun is the closest star to the Earth and the center of our solar system. It is a massive ball of hot gas that is held together by its own gravity. The Sun has a diameter of about 1.4 million kilometers, 870,000 miles, which is about 109 times the diameter of Earth, and its mass is approximately 330,000 times that of Earth. A giant hole has appeared on the surface of the Sun, and it could send 1.8 million mph solar winds toward Earth. It follows the discovery of a coronal hole on the Sun 30 times the size of Earth. As this first hole begins rotating away, a new giant coronal hole, about 18 to 20 Earths across, has come into view. Coronal holes release solar winds into space, which can damage satellites and reveal stunning auroras if they reach Earth. Coronal holes are fairly common, but they usually appear toward the poles of the Sun, where their winds are spewed into space. But as the sun is gearing up to a peak in activity, which happens about every 11 years, these holes are more likely to appear near the equator of the sun. This one being at the equator means we're pretty much guaranteed to see some fast wind at Earth a couple of days after it rotates past central meridian. The solar winds can blast very fast solar winds, with speeds of more than 800 kilometers per second. That's about 1.8 million miles per hour. The sun is a big ball of plasma. That plasma churns from the inside of the sun to its surface, and as it does, it creates magnetic fields that ebb and swell, crash and merge. A coronal hole appears when those magnetic fields shoot straight up into space, according to NASA. That makes it a lot easier for solar winds, bits of plasma from the sun, to escape into space at high speed. Those areas are generally cooler and less dense than the surrounding hot, churning plasma, which explains why they show up as darker splotches on pictures of the sun. If those magnetic lines are facing toward Earth, that wind will come crashing into our atmosphere. As these winds interact with our charged atmosphere, they can make auroras brighter. It just so happens that several coronal mass ejections, huge eruptions of plasma being thrown into space, happened around the same time as the hole was facing Earth, creating a huge geomagnetic storm, which is why the effect was so strong. In the case of this coronal hole, it's unlikely this will happen again, experts said. This is a shame for fans of auroras, but it's probably good news for planetary defense, as strong geomagnetic storms can wreak havoc on satellites, infrastructure, and radio signals. That's why we're working very hard to understand space weather, with the help of theoretical physics, plasma simulations on supercomputers, and cutting-edge observations with the latest spacecraft, such as the joint ESA-NASA mission Solar Orbiter.